Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about Foot Birthday, which is hopefully going to be coming. I feel like it's finally time that Foot Birthday is going to be coming this Friday. It wasn't last Friday when it would have made the most sense. And of course, we had a lot going on in FIFA with content inside of the game. Uh, just releasing SBCs, icon upgrades, and that kind of stuff. And also just about FIFA in general with the whole um, article situation and the... You know, all the stuff that's going on with like Icon Gate and EA Gate and all the stuff that has opened up. So there's a lot to talk about right now in this game. Of course, SBC fodder is sky high and uh, cards, meta cards in the market have dropped a little bit this weekend. Coming out of the weekend because people are expecting this foot birthday promo. And what I'm going to take a look at today is actually look at a lot of stuff from last year and how it is very similar to this year. Because just like this year, last year, right before foot birthday, SBC fodder was crazy crazy high in price um you had high rated cards that were you know disgustingly overpriced because of sbcs that were out icon upgrade sbcs uh this year you, you guys know how crazy high fodder is like this de bruyne is like 110 108,000 coins uh this guy was like 80k at one point so i'll talk about that a little bit today as well and talk about just what happened last year obviously last year was different with the coronavirus starting around this time. So you had a lot of people getting on FIFA for the first time where there was a lot of extra demand as well. So I wanna talk about the differences between this year and last year and what we can kind of prepare for and expect to happen this week if we do get a loading screen and more information about for birthday very soon. Now, of course, just a quick reminder, you guys have been looking at this, right? We know what the team was last year, and it was hype, right? They killed for birthday last year. It was awesome. They, they knocked it out of the park, right? I mean, look at the player selection and the upgrades, the skill move, the weak foot boost that we had on these cards. It was mental, right? The two-week promo foot birthday, I would say with Future Stars, these were like top two promos in the second half of the year. And foot birthday always is a good promo. That's why you see a lot of hype and a lot of buildup and a lot of expectation around this promotion, especially right now. People are wanting this promo with things, how things are going at FIFA. So again, last year, this is the player uh, page here about for birthday. Uh, you know, EA mentioning about the five-star skill move upgrades. They didn't really update or move too many positions. I think they did a couple position changes, but most of them weren't really uh, based on positions. It was all about five-star weak foot and five-star skills. They dropped SBCs, engagement rewards, and bonus weak and league player picks. So we've already had some of this stuff, right? We had engagement rewards for... Um, uh, the foot player days promo and we had we've had bonus weekend league player picks multiple times now in the past few weeks uh, and of course they're still dropping SBC so it's a lot like it was last year it really is right it's a lot like it was last year and I want to take a look at the index 100 right now because this is kind of showing you where the market is now some of this stuff is, is trickled off a little bit but as you can see these two kind of inflection points right here are due to fodder being very, very, very high. Now, of course, this is all going upwards because fodder has gotten crazy high. If I show you the index 86, look at this. 86, the index 86 at the very beginning of the game was 91 points, around 100 points. And look how it has just crazily risen throughout the part of the year because people do, are doing more and more SBCs. And this is the time of the year where EA puts out big time SBCs to keep people interested. So you see this stuff continue to go up. But we're also kind of at an inflection point right here, around 500 points, where this fodder stuff is probably going to come down soon with all the supply that we have upcoming with Foot Birthday and the amount of people that it will bring on the game. I mean, this promo right here, a lot of people maybe have just gotten off the game right now. I mean, that's, that's no secret. I feel like a lot of people have probably dropped off the game right now because they're just not feeling it. Um, they're taking a break. They're going to do something else. Um and they're just not happy or they're just flat broke because so many people spent all of their coins on these party bag SBCs or on these icon player pick or icon upgrade SBCs that people are just flat broke, right? And they, they're, if EA is also not being viewed in the, a very positive manner at the moment. So that also is maybe pushing some people on off the game. But this foot birthday promo, it's going to bring a lot of them back because they know the potential that this promo has with the special cards that we have gotten before. So let's talk about this next. With the market being high, what's going to happen leading up into this Friday when foot birthday should be with the kind of the expectation that we should be having? Well, we don't have a loading screen yet. So I still think there is more room to drop on basically the entire market. I think you will see a little bit more of a sell-off. Like, you remember when we had uh, foot player days? 
I like to watch Mbappe and Neymar uh, specifically because these are the some of the most uh, OP and meta and used cards in this game of FIFA. I love watching these guys' prices because if there's panic on the market, this is where I go. Goodness gracious, where's Mbappe? He was just like 615K. Anyways, uh, these guys fluctuate the most when there's panic because these are some of the most meta cards that everybody wants to have and wants to buy in their teams. So Mbappe is like 625K right now. He was, earlier this weekend, about 660, you know, 670,000 coins before we saw the market drop off for weekend league sell-off. So some of this stuff is down. But you guys remember when Mbappe was like 570K, 580K during the foot player days panic, which was back here at the beginning of March. You guys might remember uh, Neymar was like 470,000 coins, which he's back down to about 470. So he's continued to drop off a decent amount. So these guys are down a little bit, but I think there's still going to be more panic when a foot birthday loading screen would come out. But this is what I want to show you from last year, right? So last year we had this whole same scenario going on. We had Icon SBCs that were out. People weren't happy with EA because the game was dead and there was probably more scandal stuff going on anyway. And, um, you just had the market was kind of low. Uh, here we are right here. The market dropped just like it did a couple weeks ago with the Foot Player Days promo. They did two for one packs, right? People panic sold stuff. And then SBCs came out, but the game just kind of got quiet. And then boom, look at what happened to Team of the Year content. Beginning of March, middle of March, 2.4 mil. By the middle of Foot Birthday, the second squad, 2.7 mil. We take a look at some of these other out of pack specials. This is Lautaro, middle of March, down to 1.2 mil around Foot Player Days ending. Boom, foot birthday started last year on the 27th of March. This guy went from 1.2 all the way up to 1.4 at a point. So honestly, if you look at a lot of the out of packs cards from last year, there was a low point in the middle of March and then stuff went up until we had the team of the season announcement here in April, which we'll talk about that in a few weeks. That was like the biggest single day crash on some cards ever uh, in like FIFA history, to be honest with you. Um, that was a crazy day if you remember it, but what we see right here, I think we're seeing that again happen this year in FIFA. If I can go find my Team League page right here, like Future Stars, right? Let's take a look at, I don't know, Kulusevsky. This is a pretty desirable card because the Piemonte Cal Shield links that this guy has. What, what's this guy's price done? 500K in packs, 500 now down with the foot player days. And now he's starting to kind of go back up, right? 450, 480 on the weekends. He's 470 right now. So a lot of these cards, some of them are, are down what, from, yes, what they were on the weekend. Like Kulusevsky was almost 500K on the weekend. He was 450 in the weekly sell-off. So some of these cards are down a little bit. But I think, honestly, with the amount of saved packs that we have, this year and also people coming back to fifa if foot birthday is a good promo which you know it's going to be a promo which is going to make people open their packs because so many people are saving packs right now and not opening anything because there's really um there's nothing in packs although technically right now is decent time to open packs because sbc fodder is so high if you're getting a walkout that's like a guaranteed 30k card or more uh for value wise it's not a terrible time to do that um, but a lot of people are saving packs and we are going to have so much supply on Friday with foot birthday, with the saved up packs, with lightning rounds, people that are broke, that are going to add on FIFA points to try to pack these new foot birthday cards. So in my opinion, that's going to put a lot of coins onto this market. And some of these out of pack special cards are going to rise up even more, kind of like we saw last year. Now, one cautionary point that I have about this is. Of course, last year we were at the start of COVID, right? So there were so many people that were home and that were getting on FIFA. They were spending FIFA points and getting on the game for the first time, right? A lot of you guys that watch this channel got on last year during foot birthday, right? And take a look what happened to Neymar last year. Beginning of March, 572K, all the way up to almost 670K during the foot birthday promo. So part of that is also involved in there. So some of you guys might be like, yo, we had COVID last year, a lot of people on the game. There's probably less people on the game this year. I don't know if there's as much demand this year as there was last year. And to that point, yeah, that's a good point, right? I think there is a possibility that this stuff maybe doesn't rise as much. Um, but just knowing uh, what cards are meta, a lot of those meta cards that, um, of course, you've got a lot of people right now that have done Icon SBCs. Um, you've got a lot of people that have done, you know, certain... Player SBCs, you know, like Dybala. I see Dybala in tons of people's squads. So all the stuff that is really meta that links to 
cards that people are using, of course, in the game, those are cards that you're going to still want to keep an eye on that, that drop off. There still will be drops in price, I think, when a loading screen comes out because that's going to make some panic kick on because that's going to get people in full foot birthday mode, which hopefully we get a loading screen either today or tomorrow uh, because I wouldn't mind a little bit of that panic starting because that would mean if we do have a drop, a big drop before for birthday, that would mean the rise afterwards, in my opinion, on some of the icons, some of the out of pack special cards would be fantastic because that just means that more people that sold off right before for birthday would be looking to buy back. So that's kind of what I'm thinking and talking through and just processing in my mind right now with how the market is. The market just seems kind of quiet, right? There's some people that are buying up fodder and they're investing it in it. But just, just like last year, right? Thomas Muller, 86 rated card. Last year, if we take a look at this, right before foot birthday, so Monday the 23rd, this Thomas Muller card was 25,000 coins, literally like two or three days before the promo started. Full birthday starts, boom, all the way back down to 18K. He's there for the week. And then big time SBCs come out again. He goes back to 26K. He dips down with another promo Friday. And then boom, he's back up to 28,000 coins for the second half of foot birthday and headed out of that promo as well. So for SBC fodder purposes, if I were you guys, I would be looking at maybe cashing out on some of this stuff, right? Again, we're at a inflection point, like a really high peak here on the graph uh, for like the index 86s. And to be honest, I think I would be cashing out on some of that stuff because I do think that with the supply that comes for foot birthday, you're going to see some of that stuff drop. Uh, we have some of the icon SBCs that are ending right now. We've got the mid or prime upgrade and the prime icon pack, which are upgrade or ending. And I don't think EA is going to put out another icon upgrade SBC until these go away. That's my opinion. Excuse me. But... Um, that's why I think we'll have another one of those re-release probably after for birthday comes out a little bit later, five days remaining on this. So that'll go into the weekend a little bit if for birthday does come. Um, but that I think the prime icon upgrade is going to expire at the same time as this, or maybe like two days before. So, you know, this weekend probably will be a good time to watch fodder as well, because again, there's just so much SBC hype that is still out. You have an Mbappe, a Messi, you have like nine icon SBCs for icon moments that are out in the game as well. So all I'm saying is a lot of you guys probably have sold your teams and you probably have made some money on fodder or, you know, maybe you're just kind of broke right now and you're waiting to open packs for full birthday to go buy things. I really do think that it's going to be similar to last year in terms of people buying cards, people opening their packs, and then going and buying cards and pushing the market up out of a birthday, uh, unless EA does something crazy um, or something like that. But I'm still looking for a little bit more panic this week. I'm still looking for a little bit more panic, whether that be on the out of pack specials, whether that be because EA drop some sort of content. I mean, we have inform cards that are ridiculously high in price at the moment because of the party bag, the 85 times five, and all the SBCs that require informs. So low key, I'm hoping for EA to drop some sort of like team of the week tradable SBC because I think that would be, I know a lot of you guys maybe have invested in those informs. I hope you've sold them because I feel like this is kind of the highest point that they're almost going to reach. But this could be a great time for EA to supply the Inform market again, and that'd be a great entrance point because you know what we're gonna have over the next couple of months headed towards team of the season is just more SBCs requiring Informs, more party bags, more guaranteed packs, more everything SBC related. So if that were to come out this week as well, that would be a scenario where you could, of course, pick up some of that stuff and, and get involved with it. So that's kind of how I'm feeling about what is going on with this market right now and how we're kind of preparing. I wanted to make more of just like an analytic video today um, talking. I went back and looked through a lot of graphs. I went back and watched some of my old videos last year. And obviously you can tell in a lot of these graphs. Now there were some of them that didn't move much, right? Now this is Joao Felix's, some of the really high end cards from like the headliners promo from future stars in FIFA 20 and some of the shapeshifters too. They didn't move too much, right? I mean, he was down at 1.3. He went up to about 1.4, so it went up 100K. But he didn't move too much during for birthday. You know, he, he this Joao Felix card did not move too much because there were brand new cards like for birthday Rashford. Uh, of course, you had the brand new Hazard that was expensive. Everybody wanted the same Maximin, Sissoko. So you had the brand new cards that do come out and some cards that were really meta before or just sort of kind of meta. 
they don't rise as much, but some of your guys that are super duper meta and um, you know your cards that you see all the time on the popular page that everybody wants to have in their weekend league team, you know, like your Neymar, your Mbappe, your special cards of those players, and the you know some of your, even your informs, some of your icons specifically, stuff that always bounces back. You guys know what that stuff kind of is. That's the stuff that I would expect to bounce back um, this week as well. So that's kind of where I'm feeling about the market at the moment. Now, hopefully. We get a loading screen ASAP because I've heard rumors about the car design and the car design, some people say, does not look that good. And that would not be a good start. But regardless, if there's a foot birthday loading screen, then you are going to see panic. People are going to probably start to sell off. I don't know if it would be a straight drop, but I do feel like you would start to see a little bit of a decline into the weekend. And that's going to be a point where we say, okay, let's get interested in some of this uh, and possibly look for a rise after that. So we'll cover that a little bit more as it does come. But again, I just wanted to make this video today talking about what we saw last year and how I think it's actually going to be pretty similar uh, to this year in FIFA, unless EA changed something pretty massive. But that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, hit the like button down below, hit the subscribe button down below, and drop a comment if you have any questions. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.